the cable ferry we're about to build for BC Ferries will be the first vessel constructed using our new facilities, new tools, and new processes. The C-SPAN team has invested very significant time and energy to make sure these are ready for smooth operation. Thank you to the C-SPAN team. It's a very, very special time for us as we finally get to see this come to life today. It will be the longest cable ferry in the world. Um, not, not by much. It's going to be 1.9 kilometers long. Uh, so we, and we're, we're in a saltwater environment. Uh, we're in Bain Sound between uh, Denman Island and, and Vancouver Island. So there's a lot of design considerations. Like, and on top of that is we made a commitment at the onset of the project to deliver the same level of operational reliability. So the existing service that's there right now on the traditional vessel um, has a very uh, high operational availability rate. Can sail in, in, in high winds and, and uh, uh, through a variety of conditions. So uh, it, it was a challenge to make sure that we're able to design the cable ferry uh, to meet the same level of operational service. This is the first cable ferry that's going to go into service for BC Ferries. We do obviously have 35 vessels that we currently operate, but this will be the first cable ferry. We're extremely excited about the cable ferry. And simply the reason why we're doing it is because it makes sense from a fair affordability standpoint. We can reduce our operating costs by $2 million per year by building this cable ferry. There's three cables, two guide cables. So the best way I could describe it to the general public is it's almost like soft, flexible t railway tracks. Your two tracks, your outer, outer guide cables guide the cable ferry across this channel. Um, they weigh about 17 tons each. Um, at points in the transit, they do rest upon the seabed. Uh, they're under tension and then they, they, they come back up. And then the main drive wheel is, is just a, a, a large, they call it a bull wheel, but a large wheel. The cable's wrapped around that um, and, and there's a, 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 a drive system on that that pulls the cable. So the cable ferry actually pulls itself back and forth across the channel. One thing that's really interesting is, is uh, we did dynamic modeling tests real time to me. We invested a lot, we tank tested the design, and we did a real time simulation on it to make sure that it would work. So there was a lot of upfront engineering in it, probably more so than any other cable ferry in the country. So we've invested a lot in the engineering to make sure that we get a good product and that it does work. We're under a fixed price contract with C-SPAN. Uh, I mean, I, I think it's fortunate uh, that you know that they've invested in so much in their facility in terms of uh, national shipbuilding and procurement strategy so you know we get to leverage off of their technologies and their investments to uh, to build a good quality cable ferry i think that uh, you know there's quality shipbuilders here in the province and definitely in c-span and we'll be able to leverage off of this investment in the, the national shipbuilding and procurement strategy Over the conventional service that's there, the conventional vessel, um, the cable ferry will deliver uh, over its 40 year life approximately $2 million a year in operational savings. And it's, um, you know, as, as the executive and the management team at BC Ferries, we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can uh, to keep the fares down. On, on top of that, uh, the vessel uh, will deliver the same number of cars and, uh, and the same, same level of service uh, safely and efficiently, um, but a much reduced price.